Um, I saw that you had tweeted out the other day um, about urging the governor to prioritize the accessibility uh, of the vaccine to our rural, rural uh, communities. Um, can you go ahead and touch on that more uh, uh, along with the farm workers that you're, you like prioritize to get the vaccine as well? Well, obviously our rural communities play an integral role in making sure we have food on our tables across the country. And uh, so obviously I think that's very important. And then so yes, farm workers are very much a very big part of that. Uh, but our rural communities do play such a big role in feeding our, our country uh, that I think is important for us to prioritize them. And, and obviously they are up high on the list, uh, but just wanted to make sure that uh, the governor realizes that we are watching and uh, making and want to hold them accountable for, uh, for making sure that he gets the vaccine out. Now, beyond just the, the governor, uh, Dr. Fauci said last Friday that um, the, he and the administration, the White House administration, are working to get uh, pharmacy desert areas uh, the vaccine, um, trying to reach out to those communities. Do you think this falls um, on the, the Biden administration to reach out to those communities and provide them with the vaccine as well? You know, um, at the presidential level, it's really hard to get down into the county level. And that's why uh, they've been focused on allowing states to do it. And I do believe that's the right way to do it. Uh, I just, I'm frustrated with our own governor. Uh, to expect the president of the United States to, to be able to communicate with each and every county across the country, I think is just too much to ask. And uh, I do like the fact that uh, President Trump and President Biden are gonna lean on the states, but we've gotta hold our states accountable to make sure that the resources are delivered to our communities, especially those who play such an integral role in feeding America. And have you been able to go out to these areas that you know, are, do have many farm workers um, living in them and you know, otherwise do not have access to uh, pharmacies or our hospitals? Have you, have you visited those areas? You know, I've visited them all over the years and uh, especially lately, but uh, uh, the last few weeks I've been spending more time on the phone uh, communicating with our uh, county uh, health reps, uh, communicating with our hospitals and our clinics and uh, even statewide officials and sometimes national officials uh, to make sure they have the resources necessary. Uh, it's important to make sure that uh, we continue to have transparency, uh, especially from the federal level all the way down to the state level and to the county level. Uh, and my goal is to make sure we achieve that uh, to the best of my ability and uh, make sure that at least our county folks have the tools necessary to help them deliver those farms, uh, those vaccines and other treatments uh, to the communities. And have those living in these areas, whether it be um, local government or the farm workers themselves, or just people in the community, have they expressed any concerns or frustrations to you? And if so, what have those been? Uh, what have they said to you? Well, the concerns that I've heard the most was a lack of vaccine itself. Um, and that's the, the one that uh, most people are obviously frustrated with. Uh, a lot of folks getting in line, waiting in line to be denied the opportunity to be given vaccines. Uh, and so the biggest frustration is the lack of vaccine. And, and that falls, uh, I think, a lot on the federal government. But uh, uh, with California right now ranked at, I think, somewhere around 47, and they've moved up a little bit in the last couple of days, they were ranked number 50 in distribution of vaccines. I think uh, the brunt of this one falls on our governor. And looking at the vaccine rollout in general, how do you think that rollout has gone here in California so far? Well, obviously not well. Uh, if we were 50 and now we're just barely creeping up to 47th in the nation, uh, we're obviously failing. And I, I think our governor needs to step up. It sounds like he's trying to ramp things up here in the last couple of days to make up for it. Uh, but hopefully uh, he, he does a better job and, and is able to deliver. Now from the federal side, if there's something I can do, I do want to open up that line of communication to make sure uh, that he understands that if there's something that needs to be done at the federal level, his federal representatives are really uh, are ready to work with him. And are there any other communities that you would like to see um, or would you would like to push for getting the vaccine or prioritizing over others? Well, not specifically prioritizing over others, but we have to make sure that uh, those who play a vital role in keeping our communities safe, uh, keeping our communities healthy and keeping our communities fed uh, are obviously very, very important, uh, but also uh, just like the guidelines require uh, the eldest and most vulnerable populations, uh, making sure that they also receive those vaccines. Uh, the goal is again, to get as much of the vaccine out as possible um, so that we're not worrying about tearing it as much as, uh, as it is just to get it out and make sure that we help protect people. And ultimately that's my goal is to, to lean on uh, whatever agency or whatever 
uh, department needs to be uh, so that we can help those vaccines get out there. And do you know if, if there's any like communities in California or cities that are affected the most uh, by not having the availability of vaccines given to them? Any specific cities, counties? I don't know the specifics broken down by county. I know that how we're performing in the state uh, and I've seen uh, at least some of the numbers that we've gotten at our county level and there is a very small number of vaccines getting out there. Uh, and that's obviously the biggest concern we've got. I mean, we've, we're hearing things of, uh, like Kings County, for example, only getting 400 or 500 vaccines at a time. And that, that just that just doesn't work. We need to, to be able to get more vaccines out into our community. And I know that they're looking at different ways, working with some of our pharmacy partners and others to, to be able to deliver those vaccines. Uh, but we've got to do more uh, at this point. Uh, we've got to do more. We've got to we've got to continue to put pressure on our governor to make sure he moves us up the list and, and continues to get the vaccine out.